first in this program, technology. Now, very obviously, it'll not only accelerate the growth of markets, but it's also always a tool that makes processes more efficient, developing new investment opportunities. Well, Thailand is a retail-driven market, and the stock exchange there saw new investors open more than 200,000 securities trading accounts during the COVID period back in 2020. Well, that is a significant 60% jump on the previous peak, and one which the bourse was able to support because it had built-in capacity after developing a digital infrastructure to support digital processes. The market is now looking to the future and joining us from Bangkok is Kitty Sutiatakin, Executive Vice President Strategic Initiatives and Capital Market Utilities at the Stock Exchange of Thailand. A very warm welcome to you, Kitty. Our first interview this afternoon on Cybos TV, the final day of Cybos 2021. Uh, and if I could start by asking, well, it appears the Stock Exchange of Thailand is expanding into new space. Uh, to facilitate digital processes. Uh, this is something that not, that's not typical for exchanges, but, but why is the SET pursuing this path? Uh, first of all, thank you very much for having me today uh, at this program. It's a privilege and honor to be speaking to many, uh, many experts uh, around the world. And um, to your question around infrastructure, uh, SET is actually a vertically um, uh, stock exchange group. We are operate listing, clearing, trading at platform. That's a typical exchange model. Uh, but over the past year, we believe that we should build a common infrastructure uh, that will support the um, operations, the investment for securities, asset management companies, and some other companies like that. So uh, we we see that um, we we should not uh, have uh, our member firms to invest in back office system, which does not provide any uh, superior competitive advantage. We want them to invest in the front office side. So at the back, for example, for the customer onboarding, we make uh, the uh, customer journey to onboard a customer truly digital. And that's why uh, last year, uh, 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 because we built this infrastructure for about three, four years already. So last year, it was uh, it, it, just, it just came in at the right time uh, for our digital infrastructure to be utilised by our member firms. And Kitty, what is it that drove the growth of new investors and what position is the Stock Exchange of Thailand taking in the capital market space? All right. So um, for the, we, we have seen that the trend of the investor, younger generations are starting to invest in the stock, stock market or other uh, investment instruments. Uh, if, if I look back at the, uh, five years ago, um, the average age of people investing in stock would be around 30 something. But last year, it was the very first time that the average age fall into 20 something. And we, we believe that uh, they, they're sort of uh, asking why we need to settle on T plus two. Why, why we have to buy something in units can we just do something like cryptocurrency where they can just buy in dollar amount and uh, we have to settle in real time because that's actually they want to buy and they would want to sell at the right time at that moment. They don't want to hear or they don't understand what are the infrastructures that have been built over the past 40, 50 years. That's totally, um, uh, uh, I would say, very old to them. They want something instant. They want something easy. And, and I think um, we look at cryptocurrencies uh, in that space. Um, you rightly mentioned that uh, we support um, new investor, about 200 something thousand uh, real investor. But only th within three years, uh, there, were, there are 3 million customers in Thailand who trade cryptocurrency. And the reason that we believe that, uh, the, that the growth of cryptocurrency came into the market because the ease of onboarding, uh, product characteristics, and the friendly way of customer journey, uh, that all contribute to the uptake of the uh, cryptocurrency. So um, SAT right now are considering, and actually we are building uh, two new market infrastructures in digital space. The first one is actually a fractional share trading. Uh, we want investors to access worldwide securities under the current regulatory regime. We want them to trade global like local, and we want them to trade by fraction or by uh, dollar or bottom out, as can be done in cryptocurrency. 
that's one thing. And the second market infrastructure that we are building right now is the digital assets ecosystem, just like what uh, SIX is doing with SDX. So we are building uh, a, an entire platform to support digital tokens. And, and we would probably start with the investment token where uh, customers, um, our customer are, are, are familiar with. And uh, we believe that we could probably be able to launch this new platform in the third quarter of uh, next year. And, and, and for in this regard, I would like to highlight to, uh, to, to, to the audience that we see that uh, digital tokens, digital assets is a way to go because it is an, actually an area of innovation and creativity. Um, in the past and up until now, we are able to create only investment uh, securities, but within the digital token space, you can create tokens for uh, products and services. So we, we see a kind of hybrid token uh, that will be going to the digital asset space. So, so this is an area of innovation. Um, I'll just take, for example, um, if we want to raise the fund uh, to build a spot club, probably like in, in, in Bangkok, another one, uh, we can uh, bring the fund, uh, 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 bring the fund out uh, to, to, to us, and then we build the, uh, the, the spot club. And at the same time, we give them the utility tokens so that give them the rights, the benefits uh, for them to, uh, to, be, uh, to be able to use the facility after the completion of the uh, building of the sport club. And this has never been done before um, uh, in, in the current regime. I think this is something truly uh, innovative to us. Well, some exciting developments there. Thank you so much for your time uh, this afternoon, Kitty. We'd love to speak to you further, but sadly, time is of the essence here on Cybos TV. Uh, I do wish you a, a very fruitful rest of the afternoon in the final day here at Cybos 2021. That's Kitty Sutiatkin, Executive Vice President, Strategic Initiatives and Capital Market Utilities at the Stock Exchange of Thailand. Thank you very much.